Hi, I'm Chris Stuber with American Hako, and I'm going to show you how to program the profile for a Hako FR803B hot air rework station. It's very important in order to start this process, as you look here on the front, that you're in manual or auto mode to select we're going to need auto. The automatic mode is what controls the unit in the profile, and you can see now that our profile indicator is active and we've got step one lit up. You can see here we've also got profile number one, and we're still in power save mode at this time. Now the FR803B can store 50 different profiles inside. Here's how we do the programming. To do the programming, make sure we've got our key in, we're going to hold down the star button. Once we hold down the star button, we see that the number of the profile is blinking. At this point, we can use the up or down button to choose which number profile we want to store. In this case, we're going to store it at number one. We press star to select that. And the next part, it says RE for remove. This is a removal process. In this case, I use up or down to change between IN for install or remove. It doesn't matter if you're doing up or down. You're just going to constantly make the change between just remove or install. In this case, I'm going to do remove. Now, the difference between the two profiles, remove means that the uh, vacuum pickup is going to come on at the end of the process to remove the component. And on an install, the vacuum pickup is going to start in the very beginning to hold the component in the nozzle so you can place it on the board. So in this case, we're going to do remove. I'm going to press star to accept that. And now you see on our, on our, uh, our process uh, graph down here, step one is blinking. At this point, I can use the up and down buttons to change which step I'm going to be programming. So in this case, I'll start at step one, and I'll press star to accept that. And back up at the top, you can see I'm doing the temperature, and I've got this at 400 degrees. Here I use up or down to adjust the value as needed at this step. And then now I'm doing the time in minutes and seconds. In this case, this is set for 10 seconds. I'll scroll through this, and now I'm down for my next step. I'm now at step number two, and I repeat the process. You'll always be doing temperature followed by time. It's very important when you're using the FR803B to remember that there is a difference in the timer in the parameters of this station. There's an open timer and a closed timer. And that's just a matter of how it does the counting. Does it start counting down the process time after it's reached temperature, or does it start counting the process time the instant it reaches the step? So here we're at 500 degrees. We'll just accept this, and also for 10 seconds, and we'll move up to the final step, this is at 550. We'll set this for 650. And we'll do this for 15 seconds. And we're back. And at this point, to save it, we hold the button in again. And now it's asking us if we want to say yes to store this at that program location 01. Press the star button. And it's set. And that's it. Thanks for watching.